Hi, Hi, I'm Ben. I'm Shiko. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm from the YouTube and Twitch channel Night of the Void Rider, and I'm here today not only for my own channel, but also for 23Bit TV. And um, yesterday when I was walking the fair, the super booth, um, I discovered your MIDI controllers. And today I wanted to ask you for some information on your controllers and what makes them so special. So those are MIDI controllers, but not just the MIDI controllers. Mm -hmm. The new S32 is actually a controller. So that means that it can control also uh, our CV module and control MIDI messages, some uh, MIDI effects inside, uh, which you can send all your MIDI flow inside so it's not just a midi controller it's mm. becoming more like a tool a experimenting tool something you can pack because it's small enough to travel with actually it's also a meant for more live performance when you set up your entire rack midi devices inside you can come up with a cool technique to yeah. live performance especially for transitions and live performance i think this is really valuable as i told you yesterday i map a lot of my ableton parameters to to different midi controllers right so i have enough potis and that would be a dream for me having everything in one place right we will show the configuration later on in the video as well but for now i think it's really important you not only speak midi you also speak CV and uh, some other dialects. We have a special MIDI to CV uh, module, but first of all, it's more like a utility tool than just a MIDI to CV because when it's a standalone, you can use it as any other MIDI to CV. But when it's paired with our uh, S32 MIDI controller, it actually has a bi-directional connection and they talk with each other. The experience is much better when you plug in a, a jack and it can tell the other device, mm. I got a new jack, what do you want to do with that? Yeah. And then you can map it, do uh, some LFO, CV, so, direct yeah. control. So there's a certain level of plug and play in, inside um, your controller. So, sort of, yeah. I'm taking yeah. like the modular into like Windows-like plug and play, I don't know. Yeah. You're, from my perspective, you're making it more approachable, right? Everyone who used Modular before knows the pain when you want to connect that with Ableton, for example. Yeah. And your uh, module easily allows for, for setups like that, right? Yeah, so we have some options how you want to set it up with your uh, digital doors. It will map automatically MIDI notes to voices. So yeah. you can have polyphonic modular uh, synthesizer using your Ableton MIDI flow. That's really, really interesting for lots of, of synthesizer enthusiasts out there, right? Because bridging that gap between Ableton and your hardware world historically is a quite tough topic from my perspective. That's one of the many reasons I really liked your controller, right? We'll show the, the configuration later as well. But for now, you mentioned already some of the cool MIDI effects yesterday, right? And those are pretty cool in Ableton as well. And I think you not only have arpeggiators, etc., you also have more stuff there, right? Yeah, we have actually almost everything you can find on Ableton or similar door in uh, our device. A cool feature is Euclidean sequencer, for example. You have one layer of mm -hmm. uh, the, the Euclidean and you can stack it to a full drum machine and you can actually map any parameter of that uh, Euclidean, like the pulse and steps mm -hmm. and the rate and everything into again. your knobs. And into again, start performing immediately, right? Yeah, yeah. That's um, what I took away from our discussion yesterday is your devices are meant to be used either for sound exploration, but also for live performances, etc., etc., right? Those macros that you showed yesterday were pretty interesting. Would you mind explaining them briefly as well? The idea of the controller is a macro-based controller. So you can either use it like a simple one control per knob, mm -hmm. but you have four macros per knob that you can assign to literally anything. Yeah. Uh, and each uh, macro is independent. So you have a different range mm -hmm. uh, for each macro on the same knob. You can invert it. You can send it to a different channel, even a different output. So you can control everything, anything, all together with few knobs, although you have a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but the possibilities are endless with that. Yeah, that's really cool. I mean, that really helps declutter those organically grown setups, right? Everyone knows what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. But sooner or later, you have so many different devices on your desk that you don't know how to operate them all at the same time in a meaningful way. And that's, that's an answer for that. And that's why I was so hyped. And then thanks for your time. We'll be looking at the configuration as well. And then, yeah, thanks. That was really fun.